If you have any information relating to the deceased in this video, please contact the Miami-Dade County Medical Examiner's Office on the telephone at 305-545-2400. Or at 305-545-2400. On the 5th of January, 1988, the body of a young male was discovered just hours after death in a room at the Marco Polo Hotel in Miami, Florida. He appeared to have been shot to death in a homicide. Despite an arrest being made for his murder, and as far as I can tell the killer was charged and imprisoned, the young male remains unidentified to this day. At the time of his death, the young man was working with a group of other young people selling magazine subscriptions. Those who interacted with him prior to his death say that he stated that his name was Bobby Copeland, also known as Bob and Robert, and that he was a foster child from New York. Further investigation would reveal that this name was most likely false, as a search for people born under that name and variants of that name that would have been within his estimated age range at the time of his death yielded absolutely no results. The decedent was a Caucasian male, thought to be between 10 and 21 years old, though most likely between 16 and 20 years old, standing at around 5 feet 6 inches tall, weighing about 145 pounds, though I've seen other sources say that he weighed about 153 pounds, with blonde, strawberry blonde, or light brown hair that was longer at the back and extended down his neck, brown or grey eyes, teeth that were in good condition with no apparent fillings or obvious orthodontic treatment, a one-inch circular scar on the frontal surface of his right forearm, a four-inch linear scar on the flexor surface of his left forearm, two two-inch scars on the anterior prospect of his right hip, a one-inch scar on his left hand, four one-inch scars on the back of his right hand, two one-inch scars on his right arm, and several other scars on his wrists and right thigh. Some believe that his scars may have been from self-inflicted wounds. He was found wearing a white shirt with a flag decal, blue jeans, white ankle socks, and high-top white and blue sneakers. Undescribed women's clothing was also found near the body. Not much other information is available about this case online. Because of the women's clothing found near him, some online theorise that he may have been a cross-dresser. It seems unlikely that the doe was transgender, given that they refer to themselves with a male name. Others theorise that he may have been a runaway, given his young age and the circumstances. The deceased himself claimed to have been a foster child, which indicates that he may have aged out of the system. Due to the large amount of scars on his body, some theorise that he may have been the victim of child abuse, and think that the scars were either a direct result of the abuse, or he may have been self-harming due to mental health issues resulting from the abuse. None of these theories have ever been proven. A number of missing people have been ruled out as being this unidentified male over the years. Please check the description for a list of those ruled outs. If you have any information relating to the identity of the deceased in this video, check the beginning of the video again for the correct agency to contact.